Hey guys, it is Garrett Stewart with Command Consult, and 4th of July is just a couple days away, so I wanted to uh, show you a way that you can stay in contact with your uh, Sphere past clients or, or anyone close to you for the 4th of July, so you can make sure you send them a happy 4th of July email, text uh, one or the other or both, uh, as well as creating a Facebook post, but we're going to be able to set that up today so we don't have to worry about taking care of any of that on the 4th of July and we can spend time with our friends, family, and people we care about uh, without making sure we uh, take care of those specific things. So what we're gonna do first is create a smart plan. Uh, we're gonna go onto the smart plan tab and hit create. We're gonna go ahead and we'll name this 4th of July, or you could either call it 4th of July or we could call it Independence, um, Independence Day. Um, and then from there, we'll hit apply whatever you want to name it to figure out what you want and then we can go ahead and let's send an email first uh, we could say happy independence day then down here uh, i actually already have a, an email typed out just for uh, speed you don't have to watch me type out an entire email uh, so i i did this uh, email and with a little signature line down here. And so what I'm gonna do is, and as you can see, I replaced first name and made sure to put their field and put contact first name. So that way this automatically fills in with their first name saved. Um, so now that we did that, again, this is a simple email. Make sure you have your reply to email correct set up. If you need to change it, you can click settings right there. Uh, so now I'm gonna have this actually go out on the day before uh, Independence Day. So we're going to set a delay and we can save this now so that way we don't lose that file. We can minimize that, minimize that, and then we'll do send a text. Uh, so we set the delay for one day and that's the default. Uh, and then we can just say happy 4th of July. And then we can do a merge fields, um, contact first name. Are you doing anything fun today? Okay, and then put your name at the end, especially with Twilio, sending it from um, uh, your not normal cell phone number. They might, uh, if you haven't texted them from that number before, they might not know who it is. So uh, smart idea to at least let them know who is sending that text um, if you are sending it to people that already have your other personal number. Uh, so anyway, so I've got that set up there. We're going to go ahead and um, be all set up there. So next we're going to add people to this specific smart plan. So we're going to click that little plus button right here to uh, people. Oh, oh, we got to hit save. So there we go. It saves automatically. Uh, we can actually search by tags right in here and we can scroll down uh, until we hit the tags uh, or tag that we want. So for example, I'm just gonna send this to my ones labeled uh, test. We'll do those ones. So you can search by tag specifically. So if you wanted to send it to your past client, if they're tagged with sphere, whatever, uh, you could tag them in or, um, or you can search by name if you were gonna go by name. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead, we had selected the ones we wanted. We'll hit add to smart plan. Uh, so you can start now, which will start that out today and then but we don't want to we want to start them all on a selected day i'm going to have this start actually on friday the third so it'll send an email on friday the third and then a text on independence day uh, so that way uh kind of have it split up uh, notice that on my email and text ad it asks an engaging question of basically like what they're doing uh, i try to for these types of things try to get some type of engagement um, encouraging text uh, text messages or email replies back. So that way I can um, make sure that I am uh, we can start a conversation and who knows, it might turn into real estate once we get that conversation going. So uh, my recommendation is ask the type of uh, question uh, to get them to send a reply. So we're all good there. We're gonna have the plan start on July 3rd. Uh, we'll hit confirm. Looks good. We have the Twilio number is set up, so it will automatically send the text for me, and my command email um, is 
uh, set up as well. So we'll go ahead and hit confirm. And we are now, there are now on the plan. Now, part two is uh, making sure we have a Facebook post go out. So I'm gonna go into designs and we're gonna click on that little plus button. We'll do social and we're gonna hit next. From there, uh, we're gonna load right into command uh, designs and we can click on lead generation uh, tab right there and go to holiday greetings. Uh, there is a new Instagram one with these popsicles. That's pretty cute. So you can click that um, and go from there. There's also some like uh, flag one here. Um, there's some Veterans Day ones here as well, which you might be able to repurpose. Uh, but um, I like this one. It's uh, cute. And so we're going to go ahead and hit use. Or if you already have something else or create a different design, you don't have to use a specific design. This is just one that was created by Keller Williams already. Um, so we'll KW, uh, whoops, not KWLS. We're gonna do logos. We're gonna add the logos in there. We'll drag and drop. I'm gonna put that in the corner and I'm gonna put my logo, click that and shrink that down and put my personal logo in the other corner. I might put uh, a text in there that says happy 4th of July. If I want to put a little message in there, I absolutely could. Um, I won't for this purpose, but we're all good there. Uh, cool thing, if I wanna change the title, I can. I'm just gonna leave that there. Uh, I can download it, but I actually don't need to download it. I'm just posting it to Facebook, which I'm gonna be able to do through command. So it'll ask me to save it, which I'll save it. And we're gonna get out of here and go into, now we're gonna go into campaigns. And from campaigns, I'm going to create a new campaign. And we'll hit that, we'll hit social post. And from social post, um, we're gonna just do happy 4th of July. What are you doing to celebrate this special day? You know, I could do a little um, flag and uh, of course find the United States flag on there. Um, I feel like I'm blind on this one. Um, there we go, just put type in US, that'll pop up. Uh, you could do fireworks, even though most places aren't doing any. And so I'm going to copy that and paste it there. There we go. Now we can browse design library. And there are the popsicles there. So that's the cool thing with command and posting to Facebook. And never don't even have to download it. Um, there it is, looks good. We're gonna crop image and there we go. I need to change this to my Keller Williams page there. Okay, we're all set. Um, and I, everything looks all good in here. Um, we can schedule the post for July 4th. Uh, let's just do 9 a.m. Okay, so we're all set there. So that's gonna post at 9 a.m. Uh, so we're all set and we can Go ahead and schedule a post. Alrighty, so we are all scheduled out there. Nothing else need to do. We have uh, the smart plan reaching out to our contacts on July 3rd and 4th, uh, as well as um, an automatic uh, Facebook post going out on July 4th. So. On July 4th, I'm gonna be able to spend time with my friends and family and not have to worry about making sure uh, I'm you know, doing those promotions and things out there. So uh, I'm Garrett with Command Consult. If you have any other questions or want some command support, you can always go to commandconsult.com and look for me there for support. Or uh, for training videos, you can click that video tab and watch some of the latest videos right there. Thanks so much for watching and have a, ha have a happy 4th of July.